What's good? What's good? This your host, Swag Boy from Swagboy360.com. Today's episode is titled Help Me Swag. I Still Miss My Ex. Got an email from the homie Brian from the Bay Area. Brian sent that donation. We about to jump right into it, y'all. So, Brian writes, What the deal, bro? I've been broken up with my ex for seven months now, and I still miss her. I did listen to your video about no contact and how to get your ex back. I will admit, it did help me out a lot, but I still find myself thinking about her and missing her. Sometimes I want to call and text her or just hear her voice again. She broke up with me because she said she wasn't feeling the relationship anymore. I really wish she didn't break up with me because I still love her. Even sometimes when I'm driving, I play music that reminds me of her. It puts me back in a zone to start thinking about her more and more. The love songs that I play on the radio makes me think about her so much. Swag, what do you do when you miss your ex? And what should I do to stop missing my ex? Please tell me because I miss her a lot and honestly Swag, I really feel she was and still is the love of my life. Wow. All right, well, check this out, Brian. Your problem is that you don't know how to start working your willpower from within. See, right now, your willpower is weak. And what willpower is, is inner strength that we as human beings have. That we as human beings use to overcome our obstacles. And right now, you have no willpower to overcome this obstacle called a motherfucking heartbreak. In the in the email, you asked me, uh, what do I do? What do I do to stop missing my ex? Now, understand something, Brian. I was where you at before. I know how you feeling right now, nigga. I know what it's like to have a breakup with a bitch that you love. But see, what happens is a lot of you niggas, when y'all in this relationship with bitches, you get hypnotized with the pussy. You get manipulated by these bitches because you think you going to be the only nigga that fuck this bitch. You think can't no other nigga fuck your bitch. You think the bitch will never leave you for a new dick. You worried about this bitch right now, Brian, but this bitch ain't worried about you. This bitch is moving on with the next nigga. See, you dwelling in the past about the memories you used to have with the bitch. See, that's what's causing you not to move on. Because the bitch that you thinking about, that you dwelling on, is now making new memories with the new nigga. That's what she's doing. You need to move on with your life, nigga. You need to strengthen your willpower to move the fuck on. They always say what don't uh, kill you make you stronger. And basically what that means is that if you use your willpower to get over this relationship, you will be stronger. But that's not what you're trying to do right now. You ain't trying to be strong. You letting this breakup weaken you. You not letting this breakup strengthen you. You talking about you driving, listening to slow songs and all this bullshit. Fuck that shit, nigga. Shyness no fucking slow songs dreaming about this my ex bitch. Shit. A nigga like me, I'm driving shit. I'm I'm playing some Bobby Womack. Listen, I'm thinking about my ex bitch. Bobby Womack was like if you think you're lonely now, oh yeah, wait until tonight, girl. 
Shout out to KC on that remix too, man. But in the song, Bobby Womack was like, how the tables would turn. You know what I'm saying? How to how to how like of a when a bitch walk out on you, you could turn the tables. If you was a good nigga, you could turn the tables on a bitch because the bitch then gonna realize what she had is gone, and the good nigga that she had, which is you, is now gone. And Bobby Walmack said, "I'll be long gone. Yes, I will." You better wait until tonight. Woo! Go ahead, Bobby. That's the shit you gotta say when you thinking of, that's the strong, those, those the type of songs you gotta play when you think about your ex, bitch. Oh, yeah. And for the new bitch, the song gotta be playing this. Ooh, baby. I gotta get you home with me tonight. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. That's the type of shit I'm on, Brian. I'm all about moving on, nigga. Fuck that bitch. She walked out of your life, man. Because what happens is niggas like you, you don't want to leave a bad relationship. And once you stay in a bad relationship, it becomes a toxic relationship, Brian. You going to be one of them niggas on Facebook putting your fucking uh, profile status is uh, as uh, it's complicated. You know what a complicated relationship is? Is when two motherfuckers who are toxic for each other can't get out of each other's lives, nigga. And that's basically what you looking for. You looking to be in a toxic relationship with a bitch that don't want you, nigga. You just want the bitch in your life, nigga. It ain't no productive relationship. It's a fucking toxic relationship. The bitch actually did you a motherfucking favor, nigga. Straight up. You gotta understand, son, the wrong bitch will walk out of your life. And Brian, if she walked out of your life, she was the wrong bitch for you, man. She was the wrong bitch. So when the wrong person wants to leave out of your life, let them walk. Let them walk, nigga. Brian, you think you going through some shit right now, nigga? Imagine if the bitch didn't have enough respect for you to end this relationship and she stayed in your life nigga she could have been doing more damage to you nigga the bitch can't do no damage to you right now she's out of your life nigga now it's on you to better yourself to better your situation now everything is on you nigga brian listen to me please man listen to me i had friends i've had associates I knew motherfuckers who couldn't let the wrong bitch go. You know what they were saying? Nah, man. I know she cheated on me, but yo, I need this bitch in my life. Nah, man. I know she wrong for me, but she just looks so good. I need this bitch in my life. Yeah, man. I know she don't want me, but her pussy so fucking good. She sucked the meanest dick, man. I, I gotta keep this bitch in my life. And you know what happened, Brian? The bitch made their lives worse, nigga. See, bitches know, bitches know, like, if a bit, if you want a bitch more than she wants you, that bitch is about to do you dirty, nigga. That bitch is about to bring havoc and chaos in your motherfucking life, nigga. This is why I'm saying leave the bitch alone, nigga. Leave her alone, Brian. I've seen what happens when you don't leave the wrong bitch alone, nigga. Ain't no good gonna come out of this shit, nigga. So, if she move on, nigga, you move on. When she walk away, nigga, you better walk away. Give a fuck how much you love that bitch, nigga. Love yourself, nigga. Get yourself back up. Love yourself. I ain't throwing no motherfucking pity party for you, Brian. I ain't about to hold your hand and be like, Oh, Brian, it's gonna be okay, Brian. You'll you find love, Brian. Fuck that shit, nigga. Man the fuck up and deal with this shit and move the fuck on, nigga. I ain't throwing no pity party for you because you have the ability to overcome this shit, nigga. I don't feel sorry for you, nigga. You got the ability to overcome this heartbreak, nigga. I don't feel sorry for you if you couldn't bounce back from this shit, nigga. 
I'll feel sorry for you if you couldn't overcome this shit, nigga. I'll feel sorry for you if this shit left you paralyzed, nigga. But it didn't, nigga. Get your ass right the fuck back up, nigga. And keep campaigning and keep bouncing back and you'll find another bitch, nigga. Pick yourself up, boy. I mean that shit. And for all you other niggas that had a bitch walk out of your life, that's a blessing, nigga. Uh, yo, yo, you, you niggas don't understand that how much of a blessing that is. Maybe it'll take a, ha a six month for you to feel, realize it was a blessing. Maybe it'll take you a year, two years, three years. I don't know, but one day you will see that the wrong bitch that walked out of your life was a blessing. So if you a Christian, when the wrong bitch walk out your life, I want you to say, oh, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. If you a Muslim and the wrong bitch walk out your life, I want you to say, Oh, Allah, Allah, Alhamdulillah. If you Buddhist and the wrong bitch walk out your life, I want you to be like, Nami yo harenge kyo, Nami yo harenge kyo, Nami yo harenge kyo. That was today's episode. If y'all like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I'ma catch you on the next go round, baby. Hello.